Need your help on this one. Hoping these are a super score. Thrift with me. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Let's go thrifting. Um, I'll show you the item that I showed in the beginning towards uh, the end of the video and we can talk about that some more and then um, also at the end of the video I'm going to pull up comparables for the items that I ended up picking up today and I'm really struggling with the item I started to show you in the beginning of the video the teaser um, I really need you guys help because I cannot figure out like pricing for these things. I don't know if I'm going to do like an auction um, and start it out high and just see what happens or if I'm going to do a buy it now or best offer. So if you guys have any tips, please let me know. This was cute, but I didn't want to ship it. <laughs> so I left it behind. And um, I meant to look this thing up, but I forgot. <laughs> it's like a... I, I probably should have looked it up, but I think it was kind of expensive. I don't know, maybe 15 bucks, 20. They pr this is like the section where they price stuff high. They're all white tags. I don't think this stuff goes on sale. I don't know. I've only been to the store a few times, so I'm still kind of learning how they work. So I always like to check this section because I feel like if I'm going to find a bolo, it might be there. So fruit. I didn't buy it, you guys. I did not buy the fruit. Can you believe it? I've been buying a lot of fruit. I didn't look it up. Maybe I should have. I had um, a really great morning. I went and I went to some garage sales. I did pick this up. Um, I found one of these at my other thrift store the other day and I bought it. So I was like, you know what? I might as well get two. And I actually forgot to comp that one out in the at the end of the video. So uh, we'll just have to wait until it sells and see what it sells for. I like um, finding paper mache items. I seem to do well with paper mache. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but sorry. <laughs> All right. I think um, one of the people that worked there was kind of close, and I'm always concerned that they're going to get mad that I'm recording. So I just hold my phone in front of me, like I'm checking comps and whatnot. I don't know what the, um, that thing was, but it was some sort of statue. It was kind of cool. So any tips that you guys have for when I'm recording, please let me know. I do just use my phone uh, I feel like that's the most discreet way for me. I feel like if I got a GoPro, people would see it. I don't know. And I wouldn't have as much control over the bounciness. This was kind of neat too. I don't know. I think it was cast iron. Maybe I should have grabbed it. I think it was priced kind of high also. But it was cool. And I didn't give you a very good shot of it. Sorry. I'll get better. Still learning how to do these thrift with me's. Oh, I'm in the toys. Now, if these would have been Disney store or Disney parks or something like that, I would have grabbed them. I probably should have grabbed them anyway. They were just play and they were smaller, plush. They were 99 cents each. And I'm really trying to figure out if it's Disney store while holding my phone, but it was just play. And um, just play just doesn't have as much value, but I probably could have got them for two bucks and had it be a bread and butter. That I almost got. It was a chicken of the sea mermaid. <laughs> um, but I didn't get her. This guy I put in my cart. I looked up comps. And some of them were going for like crazy prices. And I got excited for a minute. And then I found him. And he was a bread and butter. So I left him behind. I put him in my cart there. Because I wanted to check comps before I bought it. Because it was $5. $4.99. $4 um, that's a Kohl's Care. I did not get that. I think I have that same one in a lot in my basement. Now, I did pick up this guy just because he's, I kind of look at it as vintage Halloween. Um, 
it says pirate zombie on the tag in toy factory i could not find comps on this so i that could be a good thing maybe it's rare so i like looking at the plush i am pretty picky when it comes to plush um just because i have so much stuff to list and i think plush is so cute and i could buy it all <laughs> so I'm just kind of checking things out. I did look that up because it was new with tags, but the comps weren't very high. And they had it priced higher because it had tags. You know how that goes. Oh, there's one of those things that I just sold. It was in one of my recent videos. I found it at a garage sale, and it was a pretty decent bolo. I think, was it like Fitjit or something, or Fiji? or so, I don't know what it was. But the, it was pretty, it was kind of cool. But that one was missing. It's like ear or antler or whatever you want to call it antenna 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 yeah that's probably what I'd call it because it's kind of like a butterfly so um there was another little uh lovey blanket I did not get it I know some people swear by the loveys um I did pick up two today at another thrift store now this is a folk monis I always grab Folk Monis. I love it. They're puppets, but I have a family member who loves narwhals, so that one will be a gift. Let's see. What else did I get? And I did comp those out just because I was curious, and the pre-owned ones, there was one that sold for like $28 free shipping, and that's that's about average for a Folk Monis, Monis, Manis, Monis, I don't know, puppet, but I love finding them. This was kind of cool. I really wanted to see in those doors, but I could not find a key. <laughs> so no clue what's inside those doors. But yeah, cute little toy. Like I really wanted to get it open. <laughs> I spent way too much time trying to do that. All right. Was that an etch a sketch? Anybody sell etch a sketches? Do they do good? I have like a. Um, like the red ones is what I had when I was a kid. So are most of them vintage or do they make like a newer version? Do you guys know? There's a troll checking out the Barbies. I'm looking for some like from the 60s. Didn't see any. So I just passed on those. None of them had any clothes. Like where are their clothes? Do they undress them and then sell the clothes separately? Or do people just donate them naked? with no clothes. I mean, none of them had clothes. So weird. All right, we got some more plush. And I'm sure I passed on some plush that I should have picked up. So you guys be sure to let me know in the comments. This is a Tinkerbell, but um, she was kind of dirty, her legs. So I went ahead and uh, left her. I left her there. But that would have been one that I probably would have picked up if it would have been in good condition just because it's a Disney princess and those seem to do decent. So much plush at this store. And m the prices range, you know. I, I don't really want to pay $5 for a stuffed animal. I'm too cheap, I guess, unless I know it's a bolo. Then I'll pay $5. This little guy was kind of cool. It was a little, like, dragon. And, uh, I don't know, maybe I should have got him. I don't think I get any more plush. But there's definitely, uh, definitely items here that I could have sold. Oh, here's the little sloth. I think sloths are so cute. Ever since I sold that Folkmanis, um, sloth, I'm like, oh, sloths are so cute. And, um... Ooh Ah Crochet made the most amazing sloth. You guys go check out her channel and check out that sloth. It is so cool. So cool. All right, let's see. Okay, I did get a couple of things in this aisle. And I was going to show you comps on the one. Um, it's an American Girl item. And I forgot to take a picture of it to try to look it up when I came inside and the comps weren't on my phone anymore because I had comped out so many other things after it. I did pick up the dimensions kit and I'll show you um, some solds
for similar items at the end of the video. Down here, always open boxes, guys. So this one, I was not 100% sure what to do. I've sold string art before, but uh, this one's missing the string, which I don't think is a big deal. It has all the, it looks like it has all the nails. I guess I didn't count them. And the price was decent, but it is a um, wire art kit, and it's a deer, a buck, because it's got the antlers, so it's a buck. <laughs> so I did pick this up. We'll see. I need to look into it a little more. I think it was $3, $2.99. I'm rounding up. I'm looking for the string. I don't see it. Okay, this is was a pleasant surprise. It's American Girl. And I pick up American Girl stuff because if it's not a big bunny bolo, it's definitely bread and butter and it will sell. It's some sort of like little display. The ones that I found when I was at the store um, had clothing items that came with them. I did not there, see any clothes with that. So I'm just kind of looking through the arts and crafts sections. If you guys haven't seen my arts and crafts um, bolo category video, definitely check that out. There's definitely some outside of the box items that um, you should be looking for when you're out at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores. So they're arts and crafts bolo items to be on the lookout for. I also have one on board games as seen on TV. Lots and lots of Bolo videos. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely go check out my other videos. All right, let's see. I'm trying to think if, I think I go to the house. Nope, looking at the games. All right, we're gonna go through the games now. Again, comment below if you see something you think I should have picked up. In one of my other videos, you guys were like, you should have got this, you should have got that. And I did go back, but it was like a week later. And I was able to pick up a couple of the items that um, some of my subscribers suggested that I should have gotten. So I really appreciate you guys so much. It helps me learn. It helps the people watching learn. So definitely check the comments if you're watching because people will point out things that have value. Um, that was a 3D puzzle. Um, I, I was not going to count the pieces, so I just passed. If it would have been sealed, I definitely would have picked that up. Not counting the pieces. I don't know what was in there, but it was kind of fancy. It's a Disney game. Looked kind of cool. I love looking at toys and games. It's like one of my favorite things to sell right now. And that could change. But right now, it's pretty fun. Oh, and I'm really enjoying listing jewelry. Um, yeah. If you didn't, um, if you have not seen my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry. You should definitely go check out that video. Oh my goodness. And then every Monday, I post a video for that series. Checking out the games. That was kind of cool. Glow in the dark uh, little dinosaurs. I'm sure there's things I should have gotten. Like I watch it back and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should have got that. This thing, I have no clue what it was. It's super weird. Um, I did look up comps and they weren't great. So it was big and bulky. So I just left it there. Um, this is like the Halloween section. I always check because I love vintage Halloween. Um, there's some plates I pick up and I put them in my cart, but you know, they were a dollar each and I just felt like a dollar each was kind of high. So I put them back. Maybe I should have got them. I don't know. There were four here and then I found one over sitting in another aisle. So five total, it would have been five bucks. I don't know. I probably should have got it. They were from the nineties, I do believe. And yeah, all right, I'm trying to remember where I go next. Isn't that funny? I recorded this video earlier today and now I'm doing a voiceover and I'm like, hmm, I forget which section comes next. I'm trying to get the things to work. 
You definitely don't want to get home and have them not work, right? These are kind of cool. Um, there's that other plate. Uh, I was thinking about it. <laughs> Put them back. Uh, I think I pick up this. Yeah. So I think these are like those live pets. And um, I think I've sold a turtle. But these are spiders. Kind of creepy. And I probably would have bought them, but they were $8. And $8... I'm too cheap for $8, so I put it back. Hopefully it's not a bolo. I was trying to get them to work. I wanted to see them crawl around. Ew, spiders. Who likes spiders? Comment below if you like spiders. I do not like spiders. Okay, so that's the Halloween stuff. Almost. And then... We are, where are we? Oh, okay. So this is kind of the back of the store and there's more figures. So I'm guessing the ones in the front are um, white tag items and stuff that they think are, have a higher value. So the items back here, I think they reduce. Oh, I meant to look up that cat. Shucks, I forgot. I should have put it in my cart. Shoulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. All right, so down here, there was a cute little watermelon like tea set miniature and those little bunny things. Maybe I should have got those. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. You guys are gonna be like, no, you should got it and I'm okay with you guys saying that so if you see something I think you can time stamp it by writing in the number of where you're at in the video and then you make the comment and then when I come and look I can click on that and it will take me to that part of the video so it's easier for me to find what exactly you were talking about that's a little watermelon set I probably could have made decent money on it but just decided to pass still thinking about the watermelon thing it's in my hand <laughs> oh goodness and I think I forgot to turn my camera here so sorry about that definitely some you know nice cool knickknacks but I want bolos or decent uh, bread and butter like I'm not shopping for myself I mean, I guess if I found something cool, I might buy it. I cannot wait to show you guys this special find. Here it comes. Okay, so I thought we were there. Maybe we're not there yet. Coming soon. Okay, here they are. So this one is like eight of, well, or, oh, I turned it too quick. I think there were only 12 of these made. It's got the long tail. I think it's a mouse or a rat, but they're mohair, they're jointed. Um, some of them are made by an artist um, with the last name Mueller. Uh, I think it's Katrine Mueller. Uh, I think two of them I bought are from made by her. This guy is so cool. He's pretty big also, but that one is made by her. Um, I can't find a lot of information on her. So, I don't know. And these were all together, but they were all priced separately. Clemens seems to do really well also, as you will see here at the end of the video. So I'm just kind of showing you them. I probably should have pulled my camera back a little bit. It's pretty close, but you get the idea. Um, they're really neat items. And you can see the prices. Some of them were priced at $9.99. I think there was one at $12.99, one at $14.99. Okay, so I feel like I scored pretty big at this uh, thrift store today also. 
And this thrift store is about 45, well, maybe, maybe only 35 minutes away from me. So I did drive a little ways. So I got that plush and it says zombie pirate. So I looked up zombie pirate. It also says toy factory, but I couldn't find any toy factory. So these were the ones that I found that were kind of similar. So not great, but again, they're not toy factory. So I don't know if that's a benefit or not. The next item I got was this, uh, I think it's pronounced Cruel. And I could not find the exact kit that I got. So I just typed in birds because mine has birds on it. So here's some of the comps. So um, I always pick up Dimensions Vintage. If it's Dimensions and Vintage and I can get it pretty cheap, I always grab it. All right, so you get the point. Uh, the next one. All right, so Wire Art Kit. It's by McCalla. It's from 1979. The one I got is a horse. And I'm sorry, not a horse, a deer. Mine is a deer. I think this might be the one. But this one is already complete. And they have it listed for 16 with free shipping. Um, the one I got is missing the string. So I don't know. Maybe it wasn't as good of a find as I had hoped. But I think it was like $3, so it'll be okay. I'll still make money. The next item. Okay, you guys, I need your help with these guys. Um, right here, this is the name. Katrin, Katrin Mueller. And she's the artist. So these are active right now, these two. Um, with her name. And she makes these bears. And they're amazing. And let me see. This one's a sold, but it's only six inches. So you guys saw the one in the video that I have. I think I have two by her. Okay, so I think mine are limited edition also, and they're pretty rare. I, I don't know. I'm just, I, I tried to research it at the store because they were, you know, I had to pay up a little bit for them. And I mean, this, this little guy's kind of similar, but I think it's smaller than the one I have. But it's definitely the same coloring, but it's in another country. So I don't know. It's just so confusing. Um, I did find on Etsy, this one is listed for $95. But I can't really, let me go in and see what he looks like. I want to see like a body. Oh, he's cute. He's got the little toy. But you can see he's got his tag. Mine has the tag. So I got to figure this out. But that one's listed at 95. I'm guessing these are items that I'm going to list. And they're going to be a little bit long tail until the right buyer comes along. All right, this thing is a Clemens bear. Okay, so I have some Clemens bears also. This is active and it's got the little tag like mine has. Um, this guy, where does it say? Oh, this is a Finhold bear. So I have two Finholds also. I don't know. I mean, limited edition is definitely going to help, and they are mohair, so it's just so confusing to me. All right, this is a Clemens mohair, but that one has a musical moving head. There's a Clemens, I don't know if that's, is that a bear or a mouse? This little guy, limited edition. Now, the tag on him looks like the tags on mine. So that very well could be a good comp. Let's go into Flipper Tools and see. Okay, so I'm at Flipper Tools and I'm gonna go to Best Offer. I'm gonna put the number in. We're gonna see what this little guy sold for. Mm, 
maybe 92.50. So that's good. I have two of those. Um, okay, that's exciting. Now, I think mine are more of a limited edition than this one because it says three out of 777. And I think mine are much, um, much lower. And it says, caution, this product is not a toy and is intended for adult collectors only. So apparently I need to put that because I've seen that in more than one listing. But yeah, super cute. So you guys, if you have any feedback on these, I would definitely be interested in hearing what you have to say. If you want to put that in the comments below. Thanks so much. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.